An average of 2.95 million viewers watched on as the cast of Singleton's Looking for Romance enters the Love Island Villa on Monday evening, with 3.4 million viewers turning at one point. The first episode, which was aired from 9 p.m. to 10.35 p.m., was the highest rating program across all channels for that time slot over on BBC One at 9 p.m. Suffragettes with Lucy Worsley got an average of 1.73 million viewers. The Queen's Coronation in Colour on ITV had 2.32 million viewers, while Channel 4's 24 Hours in Police Custody followed with 2.23 million. How Long Is Love Island 2018 on 4, the show will be on every week night and Sundays at 9 p.m. On Saturday nights, Love Island, the weekly hot list will deliver a weekly roundup of highlights. Sunday night's show will be followed by a spin-off show, After Sun, Straight After and will feature a studio audience and panel of celebrity guests. It has not yet been confirmed but this series could last up to eight weeks. Love Island host Caroline Flack explained during the first episode that contestants must be in a couple to remain on the show. The first episode saw ten contestants arrive at the villa on the Spanish island of Mallorca, where they will stay over the next few weeks. They quickly coupled up, but a spanner was thrown in the works when the sixth male contestant Adam Pollard, a personal trainer from Newcastle, was introduced. He had 24 hours to pick a woman to pair up with and chose Miss Northwest winner Kendall Ray Knight, which left her previous partner Niall Aslam, construction worker and student, on his own. So far, a. He was introduced to them. He was then coupled up with musical theatre performer Samir Mighty, who had not been chosen by any of the male contestants. Danny Dyer's daughter, also called Danny, paired up with pen salesman Jack Fincham. Last year's winner Amber Davies tweeted she wants Liverpudlian model Haley and former Ever Young boy band star Isle to win.